Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Your love makes me sing. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Your love makes me sing. Your love makes me sing. Your love makes me sing. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. It's good to have you here this morning. Welcome to this prayer room. <laughs> the nations are raging around us, but we will be praising his glorious name in this room, Monday through Friday, every single day. We're bringing our great praise to the Lord God Almighty. Oh, yes, we will. As the nations rage, we just, uh, my, my little grandpa Hall, you know what he would say? He would say, na 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 <laughs> to the devil, you know? It's like, yeah, so we're going to sing blessings too. My little grandpa Hall, my dad's father, he would sing, uh, he would sing the nothing song, but if you will, I turned it into the blessing songs, okay? Song, so here we go. Blessings, blessings, I sing blessings. I sing blessings all day long. I sing absolutely blessings. How do you like my blessing song? I praise you, Lord, and I sing blessings, and I sing healings and blessings over every single listener that's come into this room this morning. Blessings, blessings, I sing blessings. Blessings, blessings all day long. I sing absolutely blessings. How do you like my blessing song? Thank you, Hubert, for that song because you blessed my life all the days of my life, Hubert Hall, because you sang that nothing song to me, but Praise the Lord, I turned it in to the blessing song. <laughs> he was good. He was a good guy. He would get me right up in his lap, and uh, it was really important to him that all my nails were clipped. <laughs> so I have some really cute pictures of my grandpa um, clipping my fingernails and my toenails, so that's just funny. It's just a funny thing. Uh, gosh, you guys. Uh, supplications that's the name that's the title for today yesterday was untitled and I had thought about in in um, thoughts of the nations are raging I had thought about naming naming the title today um, entitled but you know that has a negative connotation so I decided let's go ahead and and give our prayers and supplications to the Lord and and uh, <laughs> focus in on his great name this morning, right? Not on those those spoiled, rotten little brats that are uh, looting and rioting around the nations and, and rile, riling things up. Uh, there is no coincidence that San Luis Obispo County has been uh, the center of attention uh, for more than one situation. <laughs> And there's no coincidence because guess what, guys? This is not a hot spot for COVID. This is a hot spot for Jesus. In Jesus' name, oh yes. Oh yes, it is. The central coast of California, San Luis Obispo County, is a hot spot for Jesus, not COVID. So we're just declaring that this morning. And we recognize that we've had a, a shooter. So we were in the national spotlight that is Paso Robles, California. And also that we, uh, we have another uh, little spotlight shown on San Luis Obispo recently, but praise God, he is lighting up the Central Coast with people like Steve Hillstein, right? He says, Lord, I'm here and I am yours. Yes, Lord, we are here and we are yours. We are committing our life, our works, our life's works to you this morning and every single day. Oh, Heavenly Father, won't you place a blood of the Lamb shield of protection around each and every one of us to guard our heart, soul, body, mind, and our spirits. And let nothing but your love penetrate that blood of the Lamb shield of protection in the name of Jesus Christ. Place that same blood of the Lamb shield of protection 
around uh, every single dwelling place, every workplace, uh, every mode of transportation we travel in. Yes, Lord, thank you for that protection. Now, Lord, place on us the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt buckle of truth. Shod our feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace of Jesus Christ. Place in our hand the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, by the way, sharper than any double-edged sword. Place in our other hand the shield of faith to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Lead us not into temptation, O God, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Welcome. It's so good to have you here this morning. This house is filling up quickly. <laughs> if you are here and um, you are not personal friends with me on Facebook, I can't see you come in. And actually, sometimes I can't even see uh, if you if you're my friend, I can't even see you come in. So if I don't call out your name, it's because I don't see your name come popping up on the screen. But uh, here's a warm welcome for you this morning. God loves you and I love you. And that's why I'm committed and I'm sending and giving this message every morning, Monday through Friday. You can come tomorrow support for a fill up, right? Come and fill up. God wants to fill you up. It's him. It's his love, his grace, his mercy. Don't make a mistake about it. He, he is Lord God Almighty. And by the power of his Holy Spirit and only by his power am I able <laughs> to bring you any kind of message any day of the week. Because, you know, I'm just an American citizen. I'm God-fearing. Uh, Jesus freak. <laughs> I can say that because he knows me and I know him very well. I spend a lot of time with him. And um, yeah, it's by his power that I can bring you a message morning after morning that I can, I can come into this room and, uh, and it's by, by my supplication and my prayers over the years that I have the authority to come to you as an expert at prayer because <laughs> I've been doing it for a long time and that's what makes this girl qualified. Amen? Amen. Yeah, I'm not a Bible scholar, but amen, I'm an expert in prayer, <laughs> declaring God's promises and in reading his word. So there you go. I'm a girl qualified and um, yeah, praise God. We're going to start out in the Psalms this morning. And uh, if you hear my accent, I was born and raised in Milwaukee. I'm wearing the Star of David lately. It reminds me of my family. Most of my family in Wisconsin that's, that are still left over there, uh, planted solidly. Uh, they are the Jewish side of my family, most of them, and the Katz family. And um, my, I noticed... I've noticed recently that uh, my cousin Zach Eisendrath, uh, he he was looking at my story, at my at my um, uh, listening to the message, I think, and my auntie Elaine Katz uh, in Milwaukee, she praise the Lord uh, saw my story yesterday, so that got me pretty excited. And her brother's son Brian Atinsky, who um, has uh, the River Bank. Mm, what's that called? The River West uh, filling station, right on the east side of Milwaukee. I think that is it, Brian, if you're listening this morning. You have been in the past. Welcome, if you're here, Brian. Um, yeah, so he's got the filling station in uh, river on the River West. Um, so not the east side, actually. It's the west side of Milwaukee. Anyways, so anyways, I love my, I love my family, and um, we don't get to talk to them or see them as often or at all, <laughs> as I would like, and wearing my mother's Star of David that she passed along to me. It's very ancient, old. I don't know how old this, this star is, but it reminds me to pray for my Jewish family uh, that don't realize that Jesus 
is the Messiah. He is the Messiah. And so I pray for my family. I pray for them. I pray, pray, pray. They would come to know Jesus Christ as their Savior, that he is the Messiah, that he has come, and he will come again. Psalm 55. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and do not hide yourself from my supplication. Attend to me and hear me. I am restless in my complaint and moan noisily. Because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked, for they bring down trouble upon me, and in wrath they hate me. I'm going to grab my coffee. Just give me a second here. I haven't had much this morning. I need to be waking up. I'm, I'm actually, um, I've actually worked through the night last night, so I'm kind of tired. I got very little sleep, and so it's a miracle, nothing short of a miracle, that I'm able to be here awake this morning enough to bring a message. <laughs> oh, this is good. Oh, Lord, your word is so good. So good. My heart is severely pained within me, and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Yeah, that's a song, and um, we're reading in Psalm 55. My heart is severely pained within me, and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fearlessness and trembling have come upon me, and horror has overwhelmed me. So I said, oh, that I had wings like a dove. Oh, that I had wings like a dove. That I could fly away and be at rest and oh, that I had wings like a dove. Yeah. So I said, oh, that I had wings like a dove. I would fly away and be at rest. Indeed, I would wander off and remain in the wilderness. Selah. I would hasten my escape from the windy storm and tempest. Don't we feel like that today, guys? Don't we feel like if, I, oh man, if, oh that I had wings like a dove, I would fly away and be at rest. Indeed, I would wander far off and remain in the wilderness. Selah. I would hasten my escape from the windy storm and tempest. Guys, I've said it before, we're in the stormies, right? And don't we just wish we could just rise up like a dove and fly away and, and hasten our escape from the windy storm and the tempest. Destroy, O Lord, and divide their tongues, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. The nations are raging, and we're all aware of that. Day and night, they go around it on its walls. Iniquity and trouble are also in the midst of it. Destruction is in its midst. Oppression and deceit do not depart from its streets, for it is not an enemy who reproaches me. Then I could bear it, nor is it one who hates me who has exalted himself against me. Then I could hide from him. But it was you, a man, my equal, my companion and my acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together and walked to the house of God in the throng. Let death seize them. Let them go down alive into hell, for wickedness is in their dwellings and among them. As for me, I will call upon God and the Lord shall save me. Evening and morning, and at noon I will pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. He has redeemed my soul in peace from the battle that was against me, for there were many against me. God will hear and afflict them, even he who abides from of old. Because they do not change, therefore they do not fear God. Al Martinez says, Green Bay. Oh, yes, I am a Green Bay Packer fan. <laughs> I am. Yes, I've been there. Yes, I actually did a bucket list game uh, in 2004. My friend Rob took me, treated me to a first class trip. It was a bucket list. I'm telling you, wow. It was first, it was first uh, to Washington, D.C., where we visited the Arlington Museum and the spiritual, the spiritual atmosphere at the Arlington Museum and at the um, 
Vietnam vet and the Lincoln Memorial, it, it's just, the atmosphere is breathtaking. God will take your breath away on the properties and um, where where is that, where the armed soldiers uh, guard, you know, the armed guards when they do their, their thing in silence was absolutely fantastically amazing. And I was so blessed and highly favored to take this first class trip and then over to Green Bay where on the night before my birthday, right? It was November 15th. We saw Eagles versus the Green Bay Packers. We were 15 rows up on the 50. Yeah. And it was, um, I thank God for Rob taking me on that trip because it was glorious. It was a bucket list. And um, we, we visited the museums and the, and um, that was, I will never forget that. So Rob, if you happen to be listening today, thank you so much for blessing me with that trip. And um, we stayed at, at his friend's house, um, very nice couple in their beautiful home in uh, Aaron Rogers neighborhood. Yeah, so that was neat, right down the street from Aaron, Aaron Rogers house. So we were in Mr. Rogers neighborhood, <laughs> get it? Mr. Rogers neighborhood, so yeah, that was cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, yay, Dina McDonald is here. Dana, thank you so much, I'm Dina. I'm so happy to have you here this morning. Thank you so much for coming in, welcome. And Eric Britton, wow, let me see what, oh my gosh, you guys. Thank you, welcome, it's so good to have everyone here this morning. Let me read on in, in Psalm 55, I got a little carried away, but you know, I was telling you that story because of my father, um, my dad, my dad, um, yeah, he's a Vietnam vet, and so when I got to, to visit that that memorial, it was amazingly fantastic, and I'll never forget it. I cried, and I cried, and I cried like a baby walking around the property, and so yeah, I will never forget that. Great memories, and um, I hope that Perhaps someday we come back to the NFL in that it's just a game. There's no religion, no politics in it. And that we just have the game as a as an escape, right? Just for fun. Destroy, O Lord, and divide their tongues, for I've seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go around it on its walls. Iniquity and trouble are also in the midst of it. Destruction is in its midst. Oppression and deceit do not depart from its streets. For it is not an enemy who reproaches me, then I could bear it, nor is it one who hates me, who has exalted himself against me, then I could hide from him. But it was you, O oh man, my equal, my companion, and my acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together and walked to the house of God in the throng. Let death seize them. Let them go down alive into hell, for wickedness is in their dwellings and among them. As for me, I will call upon God and the Lord shall save me. Evening and morning and at noon, I will pray and cry aloud and he shall hear my voice. It's biblical, amen, that we should pray without ceasing. He has redeemed my soul in peace from the battle that was against me for there were many against me. God will hear and afflict them, even he who abides from old. Because they do not change, therefore they do not fear God. He has put forth his hands against those who were at peace with him. He has broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother. I'm getting a, I'm getting a um, glare here. <laughs> but war was in his heart. His, wars, his words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords. Cast your burden on the Lord and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. But you, O God, shall bring them down to the pit of destruction. Bloodthirsty and deceitful men shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in you. Be merciful to me, O God, for man would swallow me up. Fighting all day, he oppresses me. My enemies would hound me all day, for there are many who fight against me almost high. Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. In God, I will praise his word. In God, I have put my trust. I will not fear 
What can flesh do to me? All day they twist my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They gather together, they hide, they mark my steps. When they lie in wait for my life, shall they escape my by iniquity? In anger cast down the peoples, O God. You number my wanderings, put my tears into your bottle. Are they not in your book? When I cry out to you, then my enemies will turn back. This I know, because God is for me. In God I will praise his word. In the Lord I will praise his word. In God I have put my trust. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Vows made to you are binding upon me, O God. I will render praises to you. For you have delivered my soul from death. Have you not kept my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living? One more psalm. Be merciful to me, O God, be merciful to me, for my soul trusts in you, and in the shadow of your wings I will make my refuge until these calamities have passed by. Yes, we will. I will cry out to God Most High, to God who performs all things for me. He shall send from heaven and save me. He reproaches the one who would swallow me up. God shall send forth his mercy, his truth. Yes, Lord. My soul is among lions. I lie among the sons of men who are set on fire, whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongue are a sharp sword. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be above all of the earth. They have prepared a net for my steps. My soul is bowed down. They have dug a pit before me. Into the midst of it, they themselves have fallen. Selah. My heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. I will sing and give praise. Awake, my glory. Awake, lute and harp. I will awake in the dawn. I will praise you, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing to you among the nations. For your mercy reaches unto the heavens and your truth unto the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be above all all the earth. Yes, Lord, let your glory be above all the earth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence here. Thank you that you are omnipotent, that you are with each and every one of us that has entered this room this morning. Thank you for we have, we have the right to praise you. We have the right to exalt you and edify you and lift you up. We have the right to receive your great love. And we give you love back. We're just loving on you, right back on you this morning, oh God. And we say that you are mighty. You are powerful. You reign forever and ever. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Amen and good morning. Good morning. Amen, O oh Lord. Amen means so be it. So be it. Let the nations rage around us. We will praise. Lord, let the nations rage as we will praise your great name. Your great name is the name above all names. Do you know you can call upon his great name? Jesus, 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 the name above all names. As you call upon his name, the devil must flee, James 4, 7. He has to flee. He can't be in the presence of the glory of God. He can't do it. He has to leave. Yeah. <laughs> Just call his name. Call the name Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Do you find yourself in stormy times? If you ever find yourself in a situation that you just, you just, you don't know where to turn. The great name of Jesus is above all names. Call his name. Call the name Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. All you have to do is call on his name. Believe he is the Lord God Almighty. Believe he is the Son of God. 
he saves. He saves. He saved my life. He can save your life too. Yes, and he will. Just call on his great name. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes. Yes, Lord. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the devil's hiding in his basement. And my friend Sunil, this kind young man from India, just called on the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Say this prayer with me, Sunil. Jesus, I acknowledge you. I acknowledge your great name. I acknowledge that I'm a sinner. I fall short. I can't measure up. I can't measure up, but you measure up. You do, Lord. You do. And Lord, I'm calling on the name of Jesus right now. I'm believing that you are the Son of God, that you are God himself, and God, that you sent your only begotten Son to die for all my sins and to overcome the evil one. Yes, and I'm calling your name out now. Right, Sunil? You're calling the name of Jesus out now. You're calling him out and calling on him. And he's going to come and he's going to be your rescuer. He is your redeemer. He is your bright morning star. And he will never leave you, Sunil. He will never forsake you, young man. No, he will not. He will not. He loves you. God loves you so much. He sent his only begotten son to save your life. To save your life. To save your family's life. I pray in Jesus' name for Sunil's mother and for his father. Lord, I pray this I pray for salvation that salvation would reign in their life. Rain down right now, Lord. The glory of the Lord would rain down in Juniper, India. Oh, just over Sunil's family, his mother, his father, his siblings, every single life that he's touched, every every bird's life, Lord. He's he set out to save the birds from the the drought, from the heat the terrible heat in, in India, and I pray, God, that you would you would give him more water, Lord, and that you would wash him in the water of your word this morning, Father God. Thank you, Lord. I pray that Sunil would have audio and video this morning, that he could hear this message. Father God, I pray for a new phone, a new cell phone for Sunil, this kind young man who's reached out to me months ago, who comes and listens to the message, who just accepted Jesus as his Lord and Savior this morning. Praise God. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Let's go to the New Testament. Sunil, I'll follow up with you. We'll, we'll talk later. Luke, let's go to Luke chapter 1. Yeah, wherever the Spirit leads us, Wherever I feel the Spirit is leading us, I, I felt this morning and I marked it off in my Bible for Luke. Right? Amen. Amen. Welcome, Eric Britton. It's great to have you. What a fine musician you are. And thank you so much for uh, gracing us with your presence this morning. You've always got a good word. Amen. Amen. <laughs> uh, by the way, I'm not afraid to ask this. Uh, Sue Nil is a 28-year-old young man in, in uh, India, born into, a, um, born into poverty, but amen, uh, he's rising above that, and the Lord is bringing blessings upon his family as he has turned his life over to Jesus this morning and has said the sinner's prayer, and, and I just pray for his whole family. Wow, what, he's been sovereignly blessed, but my goodness, what blessings will follow now that he's accepted Jesus as his Lord and Savior. We're in Luke chapter one, and um, yeah, and Sunil needs a new cell phone, so um, I'm even willing to buy the cell phone for him. We just, I just need help getting it to him. I need to connect him with a church in his city, uh, Christian church, right? Bible believing, and I also would like to um, uh, get a Bible to him, <laughs> right? In his translation. Let's read in Luke chapter 1. 
There were, uh, inasmuch as many have taken in hand to set in order a narrative of those things which have been fulfilled among us, just as those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word delivered them to us, it seemed good to me also, having had a perfect understanding of all things from the very first, to write to you an orderly account most excellent, Theophilus, that you may know that know the certainty certainty of those things in which you were instructed. This now is about John's birth announced to Zacharias. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the division of Abijah. His wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth, and they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. But they had no child because Elizabeth was barren, and they were both well advanced in years. So it was that while he was serving as priest before God in the order of his division, sorry, there was a glare, so I've moved around a little bit. According to the custom of the priesthood, his, his lot fell to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord, and the whole multitude of the people was praying outside at the hour of incense. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zacharias, for your prayer is heard, and your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall call his name John, and you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth, for he, he will be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. He will also be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb, and he will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. He will also go before him in the spirit and power of Elisha to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Eric Britton says, We shall open up and not be afraid. God will deliver us from bondage and set us free. The devil in his basement has... Let me see if I can see the rest of it. I'm not able to see the rest of it. I'm so sorry. You guys can read in the comments. He will also go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children. Amen, amen, amen and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And Zacharias said to the angel, How shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife is well advanced in years. And the angel answered and said to him, I am Gabriel, who stands in the presence of God, and was sent to speak to you and bring you these glad tidings. But behold, you will be mute and not be able to speak until the day these things take place because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their own time. And the people waited for Zacharias and marveled that he lingered so long in the temple. But when he came out, he could not speak to them, and they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple, for he beckoned to them and remained speechless. Eric says, bless you and have a great day. Bless you, Eric. I, I, I'm sorry I wasn't able to click on that and read the rest of the message, but God bless you. So it was, as soon as the days of his service were completed, that he departed to his own house. Now after those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived, and she hid herself five months, saying, Thus the Lord has dealt with me in the days when he looked on me to take away my reproach among people. Now, in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among the women. Praise the Lord. Um, Mar Marie, Mary, uh, Mary comes from the word, the name Marie, actually means blessed, uh, highly favored one. It does. That's what her name means. 
The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and considered what manner of greeting this was. The, then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also that the Holy One who is to be born will also be called the Son of God. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for who, for who, her who was called barren. For with God nothing will be impossible. Ryan Twedell is here. Ryan, good morning. We're reading about the conception of Jesus. <laughs> good morning, Ryan. It's great to have you here this morning. Praise God. Then Mary said, Behold the maidservant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Now Mary arose in those days and went to the hill country with haste to a city of Judah and entered the house of Zacharias and greeted Elizabeth. And it happened when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary that the babe leaped from her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Then she spoke out, then she spoke out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. But why is this granted to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For indeed, as soon as the voice of your greeting sounded in my ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. Blessed is she who believed, for there will be fulfillment of those things which were told her from the Lord. Good morning and God bless you, Ryan to Adele. Oh, it's so good to have you here. You are blessed and highly favored. Thank you. I feel like the Lord's going to give me a prophetic word for you this morning. So praise the Lord. Let's see what happens with that. My soul magnif... Okay, this is the song of Mary. And Mary said... My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior, for he has regarded the lowly state of his maidservant. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on those who fear him. From generation to generation he has sown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his seed forever. And Mary remained with her about three months and returned to her house. Now Elizabeth's full time came for her to be delivered, and she brought forth a son. When her neighbors and relatives heard how the Lord had shown great mercy to her, they rejoiced with her. So it was on the eighth day that they came to circumcise the child, and they would have called him by the name of his father, Zacharias. His mother answered and said, No, he shall be called John. But they said to her, There is no one among your relatives who is called by this name. So they made signs to his father what he would have called them, called what he, what he would have called. And he asked for a writing tablet and wrote, saying, His name is John. So they all marveled. Immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue loosed, and he spoke, praising God. Oh my goodness. Then fear came on all who dwelt around them, and all these sayings were discussed through all the hill country of Judea. And all those who heard them kept them in their hearts, saying, What kind of child would this be? And the hand of the Lord was with him. Now his father, Zacharias, was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, saying, Blessed is the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people and has raised up a, a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. 
as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets, who have been since the world began, that he should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham, to grant us that we, being delivered from the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And you, child, will be called the prophet of the highest, for you will go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the remission of their sins through the tender mercy of God, which with the day spring from on high has visited us, to give light to those who sit in darkness and the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. So the child grew and became strong in spirit and was in the deserts till the day of his manifestation to Israel. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning to all of you. Wow, so we just read about the birth of John the Baptist. And tomorrow, tomorrow Christ will be born to Mary and, and from we'll read from Luke chapter 2. Thank you, Father, for your presence. Thank you for the protection you've placed over each and every one of us, Father God. For those who of you who missed missed the, the beginning prayer this morning, I pray each and every morning with the listeners. I pray for protection. I declare God's promises, and we read the word together. And this morning I prayed that, Lord, you would place a blood of the Lamb shield of protection around each and every one of us to guard our heart, soul, body, mind, and our spirits. Let nothing but your love penetrate that blood of the Lamb shield of protection. Thank you, Lord, you've placed that same blood of the Lamb shield of protection around every single mode of transportation we travel in, around every dwelling place. Thank you, Father God, around every workplace. There is none like you, Lord God, and thank you for your protection. And thank you that we've suited up with the armor of God this morning. And praise the Lord for the protection you've placed over our back to quench the fiery darts of the wicked one. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your great name. And thank you, Lord, that your eyes are on San Luis Obispo County. There is no coincidence that the nations are raging around us and that we're in the national spotlight again here in San Luis Obispo County. But let all of it bring glory and honor and praise to God. Let, let your glory, let, let, let a fire glow from San Luis Obispo County, California. Let your fly, fire glow. Let this be the center of gravity for the state of California, oh God. Let the Central Coast be the center of gravity, Father God, that your believers, your saints, and the sinners, Father God, the unsaved, those that need salvation, would come from the, that would be gathered from the, the north, from Northern California and from Southern California, that they would be drawn to the Central Coast here in San Luis Obispo County. Because guess why? Guess why, guys? This is not a hot spot for COVID. No, no. This is a hot spot for Jesus, right? Amen. This is a hot spot for the glory of God reigns here. Yes, Lord. Thank you that this is a hot spot for Jesus and not for COVID. Yes, we bind the spirit of infirmity in Jesus' name and we loose from heaven health and prosperity over your people. Yes, we do in San Luis Obispo County. And let's let's stretch it out to Santa Barbara County, south, south of us, and Monterey County, Salinas County, north of us, and even north, more northern than that. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, that the nations would rage around us, 
but thank you, Lord, that you, you are binding the spirit of infirmity in Jesus' name. You are loosing from heaven health and prosperity. Glory, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah, that San Luis Obispo County is a hot spot for Jesus, not for COVID. We're going to keep saying it over and over and over again. Thank you, Lord. We're declaring your promise for you know the great plans that you have for us, God, not to harm us. That's right. That's right. But to prosper us, to prosper us. And thank you for your glory and that this is a hot spot for Jesus. Amen. I'm going to write that song, okay? That's going to be one of the songs that's going to come out of my mouth is hot spot for Jesus and not for COVID. And that's going to be a song over San Luis Obispo County. It's no coincidence that, that we are in the national news again. Oh, no. But let it all bring glory to God. Yes, yes, yes. We say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, we stand behind you, Dan Dow. Thank you, friend. You are good. You are good and you are solid. I, I saw that word, Dan, that you that you gave um, to bring some clarity to the, the um, uh, rumors that were spreading. And I praise you, Lord, and thank you for leading and guiding and directing our district attorney. Yes, Lord. Bring him wisdom and knowledge, Father God. Bring him understanding by the power of your Holy Spirit. Thank you for your protection over he and his family. Extra favor, 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 Lord, over his household. Yes, Lord, bring Dan extra favor in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, and bring bring salvation. Let salvation come. Let this glory of you, Lord, let, let the Central Coast be the center of gravity for California in Jesus' mighty name. God loves you. God loves you so much that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in Jesus Christ will have everlasting life. That's right. You will have everlasting life, acknowledging that you are, are still a sinner and you fall short. But glory be to God that uh, you believe that Jesus is the Son of God, that he is God himself. And he, he has come and he has left a deposit of the Holy Spirit that you have access to, right? And now you're calling on him. You're calling on him. Oh, dear God, save us. Father God, redeem us. Redeem our bright morning star. We need you. We need you more than es more than ever. We're desperate for you. We're desperate for your love, oh God. God, cause us to be lovesick for your son. Lord, the word says, kiss the son lest he be angry and you perish in the way. We don't want to perish. We don't want to perish with the wicked. Oh no, we want to kiss the son of God that we would not perish in the way. Yes, Lord. Yes, 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 Lord. Yes, Daddy. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. I pray the Lord blesses each and every one of you with a continued, with his continued presence during the day. Don't be afraid to dwell on those things that are going good, right? What's the one good thing that went well for you yesterday? Dwell on it. It is biblical. In Philippians, the word tells us so. His word says it's so. And last of all, my friends and my family in Jesus, be anxious for nothing, but present your petitions and your requests with thanksgiving to God. The peace that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus.